Hey, this is Jim of FromScratchFarmstead.com and our chickens are not very happy with me right now, to be honest, because they ran out of roost space in their coop. And so come along with me, we're gonna talk a little bit about roosts and we're also gonna build a new roost for our chickens today. So we had about 25 chickens to start here on our homestead. Last year, I built a coop for them that's inside our barn that's behind me here. And this year in the spring, we got about 25 more chickens. So we doubled up, we have about 50 now. So I built a really simple roost for the chickens to start. I basically found some downed branches around our yard, pretty good sized ones, like a two or three inch diameter of branch and found enough to kind of just screw together a, a really simple ladder design, leaned it up against the wall of the chicken coop and that's worked out great for them so far. Uh, the only problem is that it's pretty good size, so I thought maybe it's going to be big enough for all the 50 chickens that we have now. Turns out that it's not. I find chickens at night when I go, go out to close them up in the evening time. They're roosting all over the barn and I have to track them down and bring them back into the coop to close them up every night. It gets kind of annoying. So clearly they don't have enough roosting space in the coop as it is now. So we're going to expand that. I'm going to build a second roost. And so I like to just use any scrap materials, anything that I could find or already have on hand, right? It doesn't have to be fancy. They're just going to get dust and poop and stuff all over it. And so I'm just going to use some scrap two by fours today. And there's kind of this debate out there as I researched roosts on the internet of, you know, using a rounded, more of a rounded roost for them to roost on versus a flat roost. And so I'm kind of gonna, gonna do a comparison here between the two because with the, the one that I built out of branches that I currently have, that's what they're used to. But I'm gonna build one out of two by fours, lay those flat so the four inch side is, is facing up or laying flat. And supposedly they prefer that over something that's rounded because in the, especially in the winter time, uh, they, when they roost up there, they can kind of put their body over their feet when they're roosting and sleeping at night and that can keep their feet warm and prevent frostbite for them. And so I'm going to do a cross comparison. I'll also have a blog post on kind of chicken roosts and sort of the ins and outs of them below. And so I'll probably update that eventually as I'm doing this comparison over time to see what they prefer. Do they like the flat? Do they like the rounded? We'll see, I have no idea what they're gonna like. All right, so I got some scrap two by fours and some really basic tools here behind me, so let's get building. All right, so really the only tools you're gonna need are a circular saw, an impact driver, some screws, tape measure, pencil, a speed square, and some safety glasses. And for the design of this roost, I just took some quick measurements inside our coop and came up with this basic design. Obviously for your coop, you might need to modify the dimensions and design a bit, but we're gonna be building a ladder style roost here that's gonna lean up against the side wall of the barn. And for the dimensions here, I'm measuring out and we'll cut five two by fours to five feet long. So I just wanted to keep this really simple so both the side rails and the rungs of the ladder are going to be five feet. So once you have those cut, then you're gonna take the pieces that you cut off and those are going to become the legs of the roost and the standoff pieces. So here I'm measuring out the two legs to a foot and a half or 18 inches. And you can decide how high you want the lowest rung of the roost to sit. Generally, it's recommended to have it at least 12 inches off the ground. So I went six inches above that, 18 inches. You could go two feet, you could go higher. Next, I'm gonna take two more cut off pieces of wood and cut those to 12 inches. And those are gonna be the standoffs. And so these pieces are what's actually going to lean against the wall at the top of the roost. And they're gonna keep that top rung of the roost about a foot off the wall. And chickens like to poop a lot while they are roosting and sleeping. So what that standoff will do is help keep your wall from being covered in poop. So the side rails of the roost are going to sit at a 45 degree angle. So here I'm just taking my speed square and I'm gonna draw a line at 45 degrees at each end of the rails that make up the side of the roost. And those are the lines that we're going to fasten the rungs to in a little bit here. So then I go ahead and measure 30 inches to the center of those rails and just make a mark in the center. And then I'm gonna come down to the other end and do the same exact thing we just did, which is make those 45 degree lines. And all the 45 degree lines will be facing the same direction on each rail. 
And then I came back to the center and made those 45 degree lines on the center marks that I had made. And here again is what those lines will look like. They'll be the same direction on each rail, but they'll be mirrored from one rail to the other. So next I'm going to fit on the legs and those standoff pieces onto the rails and basically just put in two screws into each one to set those in place. So next I'm going to attach the 18 inch legs. We're just going to line those up with the 45 degree angle lines that we just made on those rails and then put them in with two screws on each one. And then you'll do the same for your 12 inch standoff pieces at the top, but note that these are going to have the opposite angle that the legs had. All right, so once you have the legs and the standoffs fastened on, it's time to start putting the rungs together. So what I did was put a screw through the rung into the leg to start and then came back with two more screws through the side of the rail back into that rung and that was plenty secure. And then I did the same thing at the top once I got there, fastening into the standoff piece. You will wanna make sure you have at least two screws securing each side of the rung. Once one of those rungs is loaded up with chickens roosting on it, there is a decent amount of weight there, so you don't want it to be wobbly or anything like that, but two screws should secure it just fine. So my camera gets a little cut off here, but I'm basically just installing the rest of the rungs on those 45 degree lines that we made earlier. So just lining up the rungs on those marks and putting two screws on each side to secure it in. So here's what the finished roost looks like, and again I will have a blog post linked below that will talk more about chicken roosts if you want to check that out. Alright, so here's our finished roost for the chickens. It really only took about a half hour total for this project to cut the wood, kind of lay things out, screw it all together, and now it's ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead, bring this into the coop, we're going to see how the chickens like it.